Mike Rogers is staying put. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Shannon Kantner. U.S. Representative Mike Rogers announced Friday he will not be running for the Senate in 2014, ending months of speculation. Josh Sidorowitz takes a look at what it means for the race and other potential Republican candidates. What I think in an email to his constituents Friday. Mike Rogers ending the speculation of many and the hopes of some that he'd be running for longtime Democratic Michigan Senator Carl Levin's seat in 2014. The statement reads, quote, after careful and thorough deliberation, I determined the best way for me to continue to have a direct impact for my constituents and the nation is to remain in the House of Representatives. As a former FBI agent, Rogers, who's been making the rounds on national TV recently in his current role as chair of the House Intelligence Committee, leaves former Michigan Secretary of State Terry Lynn land as the probable GOP frontrunner to go against the likely Democratic candidate Gary Peters. At this time and for various reasons and with Terry Lynn land already in the race, I think it made sense that he decided not to run. He's got too much at stake in his own career as chairman of the House Intelligence Committee and I think it would have been a big gamble for him to give up that seat. But some suggest Land's name recognition and background might not be enough to propel her to a solid nomination win. People do not necessarily perceive the background of being a Secretary of State as the kind of background that uh, uh, necessarily qualifies you to make policy as a U.S. Senator would. And so the question will be to what extent Terry Lynn Land will be able to uh, persuade people that she has the ability to, to, to make policy as a U.S. Senator. Current state rep and Conservative Tea Party favorite Justin Amash has also been mentioned as another potential Republican candidate. Either way, with Rogers out, the race to fill Levin's soon-to-be-vacant seat is only just beginning. In Lansing, Josh Sidorowitz, Fox 47 News. In the past 40 years, there's only been one Michigan Republican who's won a U.S. Senate seat. That was Spence Abraham back in 1994.